Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today I'm going to show you how you can turn two of these LED panels into a display just like this. Let's take a look. Okay, so I've been looking at this project for a while and um, I bought a couple of these LED panels from AliExpress and had them shipped over from China. Um, the main reason I had them shipped over is wasn't many in the UK for sale and the ones in the UK were a lot, lot more expensive and I just wanted to test this out as a bit of a project. Um, but I've seen on Instagram and I've seen online on a forum, uh, French forums actually, an arcade forum, I think it's Neo Arcadia. Um, this R RPI to DMD project and I wanted to go through exactly how to set it up, how to get it up and running because there's not much information out there on the English forums or English websites or even on YouTube in English. Everything's in French at the moment which um, is fine if you can get through it and understand and translate. I used a lot of Google Translate and the guys do have some English translations of some of their guides and things as well to help you along. Um, but hopefully I'll put everything into this video so you can take a look. Okay, so let's go through a bit of a kit list, what we're gonna need, how we're gonna build this. So first of all, I've got two LED panels. These are P4 LED panels. Um, I'll put the link to the AliExpress link down below, um, but AliExpress change their links all the time, sellers change and everything else. So if those links don't work, just search on there for P4 LED panels. You might be able to find some on eBay or Amazon or somewhere else in the UK, um, but they're gonna be a little bit more expensive than obviously the AliExpress ones. Um, the LED panels come with the ribbon cables, so I've got two ribbon cables here and I've got a split power cable which will power the two panels. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect all this together and we're going to power these panels through this um, power supply unit. So this power supply unit has the correct voltage and it has the correct amperage. Without that your displays are not going to display properly so make sure you're buying uh, a power supply unit as in the one that I'm going to link in the description. So this it's quite a big power supply unit for what we're going to do but that power supply unit will power the raspberry pi as well if you want it to um, for today's setup i'm not going to power the raspberry pi on it i'm going to power the raspberry pi separately on a uh, a plug um your standard uh, micro usb plug um but you could snip the cables on that wire the five volts into the power supply and power your system on that as well um you need a Raspberry Pi obviously, as I just mentioned. So there's a Raspberry Pi here. This is a Raspberry Pi, I believe this is a 3B+. Plus. Um, it doesn't need to be particularly high um, spec, but the, the project is evolving. So the better the spec you've got, the more future-proof it's gonna be. Um, you need a SD card. In, in this Raspberry Pi, you've got a 32 gig SD card. Um, that's overkill for this project. You probably need maybe a, a one or two gig SD card. Uh, it doesn't need to be huge, depending on how many GIFs you're putting onto this system. Um, the other things you're going to need is this interface board. So the interface board that uh, we're running on this system is specially made for LED panels to connect to a Raspberry Pi header. So the header is the, the pin header on the Raspberry Pi, and then there's a connector on the other side of this um, interface board, which connects onto it. The other one thing that caught me out on this project was a small battery. Um, I'll put the link to the batteries down below and I'll put the, the model of the battery or the, the rating of the battery uh, down below just so you've got an information on uh, which battery you need to buy because it didn't come with the board. Uh, I bought the board from overseas, I think it was either France or Spain and it didn't come with a uh, battery on it. Again, I'll put a link to the board down below just so you've got all the links for every piece of kit you're going to need for this project. Um, then it's simply a fact of putting it all together and then uh, correct, uh, setting up the SD card. So what I'm going to do is put it together first of all, show you the process of putting that together. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we've only got a couple of wires we need to put into the power supply. The rest of the wires just need to be plugged into the right places and we're good to go. So let's get stuck into that and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to set up the uh, SD card. Cool.
okay so the software is um charity way i believe it's called um you make a donation to a charity of your choice doesn't matter which charity um i can't remember the amount it was but i'll put a link in the description to tell you what you need to do and i'll put it in the description down below uh you make a donation to the charity and you send that to the guys who run the project and they give you access to um the software based on that charity donation which is great so that's the the basic entry level there's then a pack which i bought for this system which was a um, a 5100 gift pack that's an additional cost on top of it um to one of the developers who has put this pack together um you send him the cash via paypal and then he sends you the download link with a with all the gifts and everything ready to install so um well worth the money because i think there's about 600 gifts on here in different categories as standard um to jump that from 600 to 5100 is a no-brainer you might as well do it it's going to give you a lot more variation in this product uh for the for the near future anyway um i've also configured some of my own gifts you need to do them in the the right resolution i'll put the resolution and the the details down below um but i literally just designed them in uh final cut and exported them as gifts animated gifts and they work and look great on this system so uh, if you want to do any of your own custom designs you can do that too um but yeah what a what a great project it's a uh, pretty straightforward um and i'll go through the setup now because that's pretty straightforward too okay so the setup for the sd card is um pretty straightforward as i said it's a uh, I use a system on my old MacBook called um, Pi Baker. I think Pi Baker is available for both um, Mac and PC. I don't think it's just a Mac product, but there's loads of different ones for burning uh, Raspberry Pi image files to an SD card. This is just one example. So use whichever one you're most comfortable with. They all do pretty much the same thing. Um, so in Pi Baker, let's load it up and I'll show you a screen record of how we can do it um, to set up our SD card. Okay, so this is the SD card. Um, you can select the SD card on the left-hand side. And then once you select that SD card, over on the right-hand side, we want to restore an image. So we click on restore an image and we find our image file. Once we found that image file, uh, we click to restore it. And then it took about eight to nine minutes to restore that image file. A um, little bit of a time. That might be the my old speed for my, my MacBook in the house and the the software being a little bit out of date um but it does the job and it did it in in a reasonable amount of time so once that was installed and set up the software ejects the disk for you automatically um i literally ejected the disk and put it back in because i want to update the gifts on this um from a separate download link i got the the gift pack uh you go into the sd card which is now split into two separate sd cards um partitions go into the one which has got the gifts folder go into that gifts folder and delete all the existing folders once they're all gone then you can copy across your 5100 um gift pack into that folder and you're good to go eject that disc stick it into your raspberry pi and then plug it in and we're up and running so to speak let's get into some settings Okay, so once your SD card's set up, next thing you need to do is connect your Raspberry Pi to um, an Ethernet cable because it's not going to be set up for your Wi-Fi immediately and you need to get that IP address and everything else running. My um, Chinese panels didn't have the right settings, so I got a bit of a garbled display on it. Um, but otherwise, it should show you your IP address on the display straight away um, when you switch on your, your system. Um, but what I did is I set up mine up, so I plugged in an... Um, an ethernet cable into my raspberry pi went into my router settings and had a look at wired devices that gave me my ip address for my raspberry pi to dmd and then i could put that into my browser and get into my settings and configure everything from there so within the settings there you can configure your wi-fi which is first thing i did configure your wi-fi um save the settings and then restart your system uh, the restart was required for mine. It wasn't picking up the, the SSID and everything else. Um, so I restarted the system and then my Wi-Fi is connecting no problem. So I can get rid of that Ethernet cable now. Um, once that's connected, then I went into the panel settings. Uh, made sure my panel settings are all correct and set up correctly. I'll show you the settings on mine now because as I said, they were garbled at first and um, you couldn't see anything on screen. So 
these are the settings I had to put onto my Chinese panels. If you've got the same issue as looking at that um, garbled mess of a display, then try these settings um, and just play around with them. There's lots of settings in there you're going to need to test and adjust. Um, these are 32 down by 64 width panels, uh, so they're twice as wide as they are long. So, um, and we've got two of them. So I've got that settings in my panel settings as well. Um, in the categories, you can select what categories of gifts you want to be displaying. So at the moment, I've just got a couple of different categories from that 5,100 pack displaying. There's Christmas gifts in there, there's Halloween gifts, and there's all kinds of things, pinball related ones and adult related ones, if you want those on there as well. Um, but at the moment, I've just got um, a couple of custom ones which I've installed for myself. Uh, with my channel details on it and a um, the arcade games and the console game setup and it's looking great there's so many gifts on those two packages alone that I don't need to put everything on there um, if I do find that I need a bit of variation after a while maybe I'll switch some of the others on in the future but for now it's looking great and it's um, it's really entertaining to see all the different gifts running um, you can also set in there the brightness um, the brightness was set pretty low on mine as default. Um, so what I've got it running at at the moment, I got it set up to about 80% for peak hours when I'm going to be in the room. And then I've got it set down to either zero or really low when I'm not going to be in the room. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to leave this on all the, all the time or not, or whether I'm going to unplug it every night. Um, I'll see how it goes, but I'm probably, as I leave the garage, I'm going to probably switch it off and then switch it back on the next time I'm back in here, because it only takes a couple of seconds to boot up anyway, so there's no point in leaving it on and having that extra risk of it being on in the garage for, for no reason at all. Um, but everything else, pretty much, is just trial and error. You can set up the weather settings on there. I've not done that yet. Um, there's a free API that is in the link uh, in the guides that you can use. You set up the API, get the API key, plug it all in, and then your weather um, information comes through as well. Uh, I will do that in the next couple of days just to see what it looks like and what the um, information is like on the screen, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to have the weather displaying all the time or not. So that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a great little system. It's great that money's going to charity. It's great that this community have built this system and put it together and put it out there for people to use. Um, there's a lot of information on the Neo Arcadia for, forum, which is in French. Um, if you can get by by either reading the French or using Google Translate, then you might be able to gather some additional content on there. Um, there's not many other videos on YouTube about it in English. There's a couple of French ones on there, which are great as well. I watched all those in French uh, just to try and see the setup and everything else that they've got running. If you've got any questions or comments, please ask them down below because... Um, I'm still learning on this system, but it's a great little system uh, for setting up in the garage as a clock, whether you want it in your uh, garage like me in the gaming room or whether you want it in the house. It looks really nice. There's nice 3D printed displays that you can get for them, so you can have a nice housing to go around it. Um, I'm not going to do that yet, but I might do that in the future, uh, depending on how it looks and where I want it set up in, the, in a bit. But for now, it's just going to be set up on the shelves behind me. And then, yeah, you're probably going to see it in future videos if you're subscribed to the channel. So, cool. Hope you've enjoyed that. Any questions, I said, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll catch you soon.